Hey, what's good y'all? Welcome to another episode of Fishing with Bottles. I'm out here today on this beautiful river and I'm excited. I'm gonna hook me some big ones. Stay tuned. What are you doing? Pike minnow just got slammed. Put you in a half ounce jig and it takes a while to get down to the bottom here. There we go. Oh yeah, feels good. Come on. Yep. Come on, big girl. Yeah, this feels like a pretty heavy fish. Oh man. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Just gotta be careful because I'm standing on top of this pile of rocks here. And I don't want to run under those rocks. I'm using a 25 mil soft bead and I threw some butt juice on it. Oh. Oh, it's like this fish just figured out it was hooked. I'm trying to horse it out of there. <sighs> I thought this thing was gone for a while. Man, this thing is fighting hard. Holy smokes. Oh. That's what it do, baby. He's gone. So that last fish, I'm running this 25 mil soft bead and threw a little of that butt juice on there. If y'all ain't familiar with butt juice, yep, it's butt juice. And that was like, I think my first drift and he smoked it. Just put a little dab on there, you don't need much. Good to go. And that fish burnt my thumb up. It's funny, that fish, it like took him a minute to be like, oh wait, I'm hooked? And then he ran me out into the deep stuff that fast water out there.
That's a pike minnow. This big ass pike minnow just dunked me. Who knew these fish were out here just looking for bouncy balls? I'm hooked up too. Oh, and he's gone. Yeah. What's that? I think so. Oh, hooked another one. Oh, it's small though. That's too small. Oh, that's a little rainbow. Half ounce twitching jig and a rainbow comes along and smacks it. Get a little more butt juice on this sucker. Because I love my butt juice. Butt juice. Come on, come on, baby. Oh, yeah. No, no, not in the fast water. Not in the fast water. Oh, that's a good looking fish. So bright, so shiny. I might keep it's gonna be close another nice fish just a little too big for me I just dropped it down and there's a fish This might be a keeper. I think that's a keeper. Oh yeah. I think that one will keep. She good. All right, first keeper of the day, baby. So far, this pink and white twitch jig and this big, beautiful 25 mil bead. That's what all my fish come on. Getting down with the pink. These guys, like, I'm not even having to twitch it. Sometimes I just drop it down and they're hitting it on the way down. Ooh, just missed another one. So I'm just pitching it out here, letting it sink. It's 
just letting it pop on that slack line and it's slowly getting pushed into the bank and then I'm reeling in. Or catching fish. That's also what happens. There we go. Oh, we'll stay out of the fast stuff. Got a little excited when I set that hook, I think. Knocked my camera around. Oh, this might be another keeper. They are loving this pink and white twitch jig. It's going to be real close again. Yeah, baby. They are loving this twitch jig. It's a little too big. Good looking fish though. Easy does it. Easy. Oh, it's trying to get out into the fast stuff. I don't like it. This is a big one. Not as big as I thought. It just like went psycho there for a minute or two. thing is fat. Yeah. Oh, she's ready. It's a big dirty baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. It is being beautiful with the fish. Some twitching jigs, some bobber down action, but juice to the rescue. What's that special sauce you're putting on there? That's the booty juice, baby. Soft bead and some booty juice. Oh yeah, that butt juice, man. When it's fresh, you just pop it on. Fish pops on. Oh, this is another hog. Hog. Oh. Oh. This is a hog, man. Oh. This is big. Oh.
There we go. Another hog, baby. Chill. Chill. This guy's probably just too big to keep. Hurry up and get in the net. Nice fish, way she goes. This is butt juice. I've never thrown the butt juice on here before, but, 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 but it works. There we go. No idea how big this fish is. Butt juice. <laughs> I can't stop saying butt juice now. Oh yeah, he's looking too big to keep. Oh. It's going to be close. Don't go under those rocks. Man, I've been slapping these nice looking fish all day. All day. I'm not sure if I'm getting these releases on camera or if I'm just videotaping my crotch. There we go. Butt juice. I can't stop saying butt juice now. Oh boy, this is big. This is big. Butt juice. Just trying to keep him out of the fast water. Oh, he's in the fast water. Whoa, as soon as I get him in, he's just off again, off to the races. I gotta turn him around at some point. Ooh. might have to stand up for this guy. Oh, giant. No. Yeah. Lost so many fish today. I mean, I've caught a good share too, but losing them's painful. He just kept running me out into that fast water in the middle, and once they're out there, they're so powerful. Ugh. There we go.
Come on. You, baby. All day I'm like I probably should have left like an hour ago but how do you leave when the fish is still hidden you can't you can't pretty much all these fish are oversized I was hoping to get a few more keepers but I mean they're still fun I think this is gonna be my last fish of the day if I can land it fish scraps so good try not to horse them too much but you can't let them get in that fast stuff or else it's just game over oh that's a fat chrome son of a gun oh no get in the net you gotta turn your head the other way. Cooperate. Cooperation. Oh, so thick. So thick. Ooh. Did I mention he was thick? Thick, thick. Oh, man. Just let him. Get a little energy back. That was a tough scrap. Look how beautiful that is. I think he's good. Run along now. All right, y'all. As always, I appreciate you tuning in to another episode of Fishing with Bottles. Love you guys, all my subscribers. So much appreciated. People are losing fish and cussing. <laughs> <laughs>